Well, good morning, everybody. It's Donovan with Ellie. Team Tate Outdoors. I bet you not. I bet you you do not guess. I bet you can't guess. How do I? I can't even talk. <laughs> I bet you can't guess where we're going outdoors today. Outdoor. You're gonna try because you see this right here, but that's that's just because I haven't taken them out. We're actually going to the Oki homesteading event over here in Pryor at the Mays County uh, Fairgrounds. So we're gonna go check this out. Um, our friends, the uh, the Arms family is is over there, so I want to go visit him since he's in my neck of the woods and maybe see Dutch and um, Sean and uh, see who else is there and just kind of visit, check the place out, you know. Um, see what they have to offer maybe there's some cool stuff that we can purchase for our farm right you excited we we're gonna go check this this uh the Oki homesteaders out and um we'll show you guys the place so headed outdoors here we go um, all right here. well we're there guys there it is we are finally here there's a bunch of tractors right there there's a bunch of traffic right the there. Tractor yard. Oh yes, and traffic. Traffic yard. Okay, well let's uh let's get paid up and um, get in here and check this place out. Wow. If you guys are interested in getting a chicken coop that you can move around your yard, no matter how big your yard is. These guys make a movable chicken coop. They're actually on wheels. Ellie, pick that thing up, lift that up and move it. What? Look at that. And your chickens, you don't even have to worry about corralling them. No. Nope. You just, you just you. pick up and they'll walk and if they don't, they're gonna get trampled. So. <laughs> now they'll walk with you because they like going on vacation. They think it's going on vacation Yeah, it's day. fresh, fresh grass mm -hmm. and fresh bugs grass. and everything. Time, yep. And I kind of go behind going, move, move the chickens. <laughs> So you guys gotta check them out if you're looking for a coop. You don't know how to build one, and this isn't something you gotta super difficult to build. Looks like. Uh, no, the, the Amish build them for us. It comes as a kit. You just bolt it together. It comes nice. in that box over there. Yeah, it comes flat Lace in that box. Truck of a bed. Super lightweight canvas with uh, zippable uh, things, so you get to your feeders and your waters. Roll away nest box, so you don't never have to mess with the eggs. They roll right here in the tray. They roll back there to you. Doesn't get no lazier than that. <laughs> Except you have, have Oh yeah? Them. You have to move them. You gotta huh? move them, huh? And feed them, water them. Yes, Daddy. Naturalgrandma.com. This one's got a, a system that sits flat on the ground. The wheels recess up, and then when you lift it up, it's a cable system. When you lift the handle, lift that handle up, Ellie. This is the it, one we have. We it, call this our Cadillac. It hinges. Version tightens, pulls the back end up, the wheels engage, and then you can roll it. When you get to where you want, you let it down, it stops. How cool is that? The three small ones, $14.95 as a kit, that's what you see. Uh-huh. $19.95 as a kit, is what you see. Uh-huh. The more special, uh, show special, $24.95. $24.95 for that one, guys. Very cool system, guys. Check them out. Naturalgrandma.com. If you're looking for a portable chicken coop, we saw these. These are pretty cool. If I wouldn't have already built a chicken coop, this may have been a really good um, thing to try out. So give them a shout. All right, let's keep looking through the place. This table here is our men's line. That's why I stopped at it. Okay, good deal. <laughs> good deal. How, how did you guys make that? It looks like... That is a sugar scrub. Sugar? You scrub it? That's a sugar dessert. No, you don't eat it, honey. <laughs> don't eat the soap. Hey guys, so we stopped over here at a, um, one of the little booths here. And they're talking, they have, they're a butcher shop. Just started a new butcher shop or, or had it for a little while. Carnivore Cuts, and they're in Haskell. I'm gonna let them tell you guys about it a little bit. Howdy folks, my name's Austin. Like you said, we're Carnivore Cuts Custom Butcher Shop. 
We're in Haskell, Oklahoma, which is in the northwest corner of Muskogee County, about 30 minutes south of South Tulsa, and we can do any of your four-legged farm animals. Can't do deer or any of the wild game, but if you got cows, pigs, lambs, goats, we'd love to have you. We're about a month out right now, and we try to be pretty personable, so if you've got any any uh, questions or any concerns on how you're raising the animals and you know what you're trying to get out of quality and and your yield and everything we'd love to help you so give us a call our phone number is 918-900-1977 thank you so guys we are in line and ready to milk a goat apparently a bunch of people are in line around us so it's natural yeah let me show you. Yeah. I have grandma, and granddaughter, and they That's all super cool. have those three too. Have really nice orifices. Hey, you did good. Good, good teeth. <laughs> you did real good. Look, this is what it some? tastes like. Okay, so Lori and Greg with LG Homestead, they're gonna pass that. out um, some of her fresh milk if you want to try it. Is it good? Is it good? You don't like it? Let me try. Yeah, the question was, you don't really need a billy goat unless, short of just breeding. Mm, that's and good. that's absolutely true. That's I mean, good. healthy. They can get bread really quick and... Um, All right, let's go. Of... So we sat down um, in the... Uh... I guess, like, I don't know, one of these little areas and uh, Cassie and Gary from the Walker Farm Fam are actually giving away a chicken run and an incubator. So we got our little tickets. Ellie's probably way luckier than I am, but we're going to try to see if we can win one of these things. We don't need the chicken door, but we both put them in the, the incubator, the hatcher. So we'll see if we win the hatcher. <laughs> Daddy, she gets the hatch eggs. That's so exciting. <laughs> Alright, now, these are the timers. Um, so She's like, she gets that, raise some eggs now. You didn't win. You don't have to win all the time. We're not exactly the luckiest people. Out of all these people, not everyone won two. Nope, there's a lot of, a lot of people that aren't winners. Alright guys, well we just got back from the homesteaders uh meetup the oki homestead the um you know 2023 homesteaders get together and um i wanted to get some thermometers and show you guys the difference between what this building with the insulation how much cooler it is inside than it is outside um so here's what i decided to do I've got the thermometer. I found a nail. I'm gonna I put a nail in right here. Now this is in front of this fan. It's below this fan. It's in the shade, obviously the whole thing is shaded. I'm gonna hang it right there so we can actually properly read this. It's reading 90. Oh, there it goes, went to 89. 89 degrees. We're gonna let that sit there for let it sit there for a minute. And I actually moved the one that's um, that was here instead of sitting it in the shade because this metal is very cold. That would be like trying to put it here and say that this is an accurate description of how hot it is outside. I wanted to put it in where it should be in the sun on the metal building and. That's how much it's saying it is out here in the sun. Don't know if you can quite read that. That's not helping. Uh, 101 is what it's saying it is. 101 against the metal building. It's five o'clock, it's five o'clock sun right here. I've got my two solar panels. They catch the five o'clock sun to cool this thing down now that, that that side is shaded before nighttime so that they get the full max sun to run those fans to cool this place off. I'm sorry, 102. 102 degrees, don't know if you can see it. 102 degrees. On the outside, sunny side of the building, 
Okay, just so we're clear. Now let's see what this is. I had the door shut for a while. We're still 89 degrees in here. Spray foam, two fans. That's the sun wall. You can even some, see some of the sun coming in right there. How much cooler it is in here. So yeah, there you go. Less than 90 degrees. I think the chickens are okay. And that this temperature may keep going up. Yep, it's already went up to 103 on that metal. So we'll let it just sit out there and see what it gets to. And I really want to see once the sun sets, I want to see how cool it's going to get. We'll bring a light in here and we'll show you guys tonight. Right as right at dark, we'll show you what the temperature is going to be. Obviously, it's not going to get any cooler than that because the sun, the the um, the fans won't be running unless I hook up a battery system where these are charging a small battery and the battery is running the uh, the fans. But with the fans shut off, we're going to see what the temperature is by the time dark sets. We're going to let the chickens out here in a minute anyways and let them start free ranging. Hey chicks and chick dets. Come on. Come on guys. Come on, let's go. I love them, don't you? Yeah. Love them. You want some? You want some? Come here, baby. Here. All right, guys. Now we're down to 88 degrees in here, guys. 88. One hundred fourteen degrees on the metal building. I don't know if you can see that that well. One hundred thirteen. You can see that. One thirteen. I can't see it. There we go. One hundred and thirteen degrees. Metal building side, facing the sun. About 515 now, 88 degrees inside. I'd say that's a drastic difference for a metal building chicken coop.